Hey folks, welcome back. In this video we're going to go over four worked examples to show you how to do problems involving drawing velocity time graphs. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on describing the motion of an object from a velocity time graph, as watching that video will help you understand what we do in this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says a car is travelling at a constant speed of 12 metres per second. Draw the speed time graph for this motion. So let's start with our axes, then our labels and units. So we've got speed in metres per second on the y-axis and time in seconds on the x-axis. And let's put our numbers on the y-axis so we've got our origin of 0 and our speed up there of 12 metres per second. And remember if an object's travelling at a constant speed, then we'll have a straight horizontal line on the speed time graph. So it will look something like this. Question 2 says a motorbike accelerates from rest and reaches a velocity of 27 metres per second in 7 seconds. Draw the velocity time graph for this motion. So let's start with our axes again and our labels and units. So we've got velocity in metres per second on the y-axis and time in seconds on the x-axis. And then let's put our numbers on the axis. So we've got the origin, we've then got 7 seconds over here and we've got 27 metres per second up here. And we're told that the motorbike accelerates from rest, so we must be starting off at the origin at 0 metres per second. And remember for an object showing uniform or constant acceleration, we have a positively sloping diagonal line, so it should look something like this. So you can see that in the 7 seconds, the velocity of the object is reaching 27 metres per second. Question 3 says the driver of a car sees the traffic lights in the distance change to red and brakes uniformly. The speed of the car reduces from 25 metres per second to 5 metres per second in 8 seconds. Draw the speed time graph for this motion. Well again, let's draw our axis and write down our labels and units. So we've got speed in metres per second and time in seconds. And then we can put some numbers in the axis. So we have the origin zero. We then have five and 25 metres per second labelled as well as eight seconds. And if the driver is braking uniformly, that means they're going to be slowing down at a constant rate, i.e. a deceleration. So to show a negative acceleration or deceleration on the speed time graph here, remember that's going to be a negatively sloping diagonal line that looks something like this. So because the speed is initially 25 metres per second, we're starting there, and then the speed is reducing to 5 metres per second in that 8 seconds. So we need to stop the line here. Just be careful you don't extend the line all the way to the x-axis because that would be going down to 0 metres per second and not 5, which is the final speed. Lastly, question 4 says a bus accelerates uniformly from rest to 13 metres per second in 6 seconds. It then travels at this velocity for a further 4 seconds. The bus then decelerates uniformly for 5 seconds to 4 metres per second. Draw a velocity time graph for the motion of the bus. Well, there's a lot going on here, so we just need to make sure we're including all of the parts on our velocity time graph. So let's start with our axis and then our labels and units. So we've got velocity in metres per second on the y-axis and time in seconds on the x-axis. And then let's label the numbers that we need on our axis. So we've got the origin, we've then got 4 metres per second and 13 metres per second because those are the speeds that we're told in the question. We then have 6 seconds labelled because we're told about 6 seconds there. We're then told about a further 4 seconds, so that means we're going up to 10 seconds. And then we have another 5 seconds, so that's going from 10 to 15 seconds. So firstly, we're told about a uniform acceleration from rest. So remember, from rest means starting at 0 metres per second, so we must be starting at the origin here. And then we've got a positively sloping diagonal line showing a uniform constant acceleration going up to 13 metres per second in 6 seconds. And then we're told it travels at this velocity for a further 4 seconds. So between 6 and 10 seconds, we've got a constant velocity, which must be a straight horizontal line on the graph. So that's shown from 6 to 10 seconds there. And lastly, we have a constant deceleration for 5 seconds, so between the 10 and 15 seconds and that's going down to 4 meters per second. So we want to end at this point here. So that means we're going to have a negatively sloping diagonal line that looks like this going down to the 4 meters per second. And again, just be careful not to extend your line all the way to the x-axis because that would be going down to 0 meters per second and not stopping at 4 meters per second. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.